What's up guys? So I'm going to be doing kind of a different type of video right now just because um, I wanted to change the pace a little bit uh, because I was supposed to finish my let's play for uh, Trespasser and for The Witcher for The Witcher 3 but um, I have a tendonitis here in this area the neck connecting to the jaw um, and it's pretty bad, so um, that is directly tied to this video. I've always had a problem with my jaw. It's uh, It tends to get really tense easily, and when it gets too tense, I it gets inflamed and it just gets bad. And then it doesn't help that I bite my nails. Like, that really tenses my jaw so much so I am I'm really trying hard to stop biting my nails but I've been biting my nail my nails since I was like that big <laughs> since I was a little kid so it's really really hard for me but um I have to do it because my jaw is just it's bad so what does my let's play this video and my jaw have in common <laughs> the headset this is the very first headset that I had. Well, that's mine because I used to very, very early on when I was doing Let's Plays, I used to use a different headset, which was my brother's, um, but it was really old and it sucked. So then I got the, um, the Turtle Beach X12s and this was, this was like right when I barely started making Let's Plays. Um, if you remember back when I was doing uh, the dark, the Dark Souls Let's Play. This was it, and I was even using the um, the mic on it. So I've had this for years. It served me good for for those years. Maybe like I want to say four years, something like that. Five years, four years. They have a volume, which is very useful for people that do Let's Plays. Um, because when you're sitting there and you don't want to be moving, you want to pretty much stay, uh, in the sight of the camera, especially with, um, uh, face cam, you want to be able to adjust the volume without moving. So this is something that I pretty much need to make recording easier. And for my setup, which I'm going to go into very, not, not too in, into detail, but for my setup, I need these wires. It's the microphone wire the the headset wire the headphones and it's powered by USB. I've noticed that uh, it makes a difference if it has a USB, but I was reading what it really does and some people were saying that it actually isn't that good to be powered by USB. So I really don't know the purpose of USB or why my setup works more with a USB. I'll explain in a little bit. Oh, I didn't know that they did that. <laughs> they move. <laughs> I stopped using this microphone um, early on. It picked up a lot of noise, a lot of noise from the Elgato. And, I, and by noise, I mean like um, uh, electronic noise from the Elgato, which is what I record um, my gameplay with. I remember testing it back then. Um, and I was like, it's the Elgato because I, I wouldn't hear the, the, the electronic hum in the background until I plugged that in. So as soon as I plugged it in, I started to hear it. So I was like, oh shoot. I tried to fix it other ways by getting those cables with the little, that little clamp that, that is supposedly supposed to get rid of the noise, but it didn't work. So I got an external microphone to record my Let's Plays and I just used this as a headset. When I started having problems with my, my jaw and my neck, I think maybe like last year it started to get worse. Um, these started to get really uncomfortable, even, or even normally when I wasn't having issues, um, I couldn't wear them for very long because they really clamp down on your head. And I've, I, I thought it was just me, but a lot of people have said, I've seen a lot of reviews saying that they're not, they're not comfortable. Um, especially if you're wearing them for, for a few hours, I could pretty much just wear these for maybe now I can't wear these at all. <laughs> Um, which is why I stopped my let's play because I was like, I can't, I can't wear these. If you guys remember the, my last, my last, the last part of my let's play, I had these little tiny headphones and that was it. That was why, because I couldn't stand these anymore because they're oval. So they sit right 
at the edge of my jaw so since they clamped down it was hurting so much and I was like I can't I can't and then talking so I couldn't do it so I needed to get a new headset not only because it was time because these also um, not only are they uncomfortable especially now but they are they are also they were all the 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 wire was becoming exposed here so I put um, uh, like that that electronic tape on it the wire tape the black one um just so that I don't get short-circuited or, or something because that has happened to me <laughs> I remember it's even in one of my playthroughs where I was like whoa wait a minute I can't hear like it, all of a sudden the, the this the sound will will come in and out and that's already a bad sign for head for headsets that's like the first sign that it's dying and I tried to look for circular type of head a circular type of headset or headphones but the thing is that everything that I was looking for that's not particularly for gaming it only has a 3.5 connection um and I was like for my setup for my recording setup in order for my ps4 to to capture the sound from the gameplay um and me still hear the sound through my headset headphones whatever i i can't connect it to my to the ps4 controller because then the elgato will not um pick up the sound from the ps4 because the sound's coming from the controller i already have a setup video it's pretty old so i might be doing a new setup video because i do use some things that are a bit different especially with the ps4 so that's why i don't want to go too much into detail with the with my setup but that's why i needed a particular headset because of the the actual setup that i have so i bought two other headsets before the one that i bought um that i think should work the first headset that i bought was something like skull some kind of skull thing on it i can't remember but it was pretty much just headphones it didn't have a microphone or anything like that it didn't have actually it did have a volume control but it was just like you had to press this button on the headset and i really don't like that they were comfortable they looked cool they were roundish um but it didn't work the cable i connected to it i connected it to my setup and it, the sound was horrible it sounded like it was all the way down on low and i was like I, tr I tried to look for other things and in order for me to use that i need to change my my setup completely because there are two ways of recording sound um with an elgato and a headset because you can't just connect it and that's it oh boom <laughs> you you're all set no you need a specific uh, specific cables, specific connections, all that stuff in order for it to work. I would have to change my setup. And I was like, oh. and there was more cables, like twice the cables or like thrice the cables. And I was like, no. So I returned those and I got a different set of headsets, which is already bringing me into this. I got the HyperX Cloud headset. The first one that I got was the, the Cloud core it was the hyper x cloud core and it pretty much looks exactly like this but it says core on here um and i got it at gamestop and i went there because i was like you know what i was looking at my game my games um that i have and i was like i have a bunch of games that i have never touched that i had bought used a while back at gamestop and i thought i was gonna end up playing them and i never did and i really never had the the enthusiasm to play it or to i was like never really interested i was like why the hell did i buy these i bought them like for 7.99 or something like that used i got a bunch of 3ds games that i never played also so i had like 15 games that i was gonna um sell back to GameStop. I never thought I was gonna get enough. I was like, I'll probably get like $20 for all of these. And I was like, I I'm gonna at least put that towards my headset. And I'm gonna look for a headset there and maybe I'll find something. So I found this one and I was they had it to try it on, I believe. I don't remember if they had it to try it on, but I did try it on a few of them that they had. They had the, the ones that are really popular right now. What are they called? You could change the color here and they have a, they have a retractable mic. Astro, the Astros or something like that. So I think they're Astro something. But those are supposedly like the most popular right now or something. I tried them on and they were not very comfortable for me. So I was like, I'm not going to go back to something that's not comfortable um, no matter how 
awesome they are no matter how great they are so I saw these and I was reading on Amazon some reviews and a lot of people were saying that they feel great that they're really comfortable that they're the best headset that they've ever had and they, they get game for hours I don't game for hours but with my issue um, even just an hour is already pushing it so with my let's plays I try to record at least the most at the most two hours and I had been reading that it came with a volume control and all that and I was like perfect um, but when I got it and I opened it it didn't come with anything it just came with the cable and no volume control on it and it just came with the the, the cable was the microphone cable and the headset for the headphones so I was like was I gypped or what the hell happened <laughs> like where's the volume so I did more research and I realized that the one that I needed was the cloud not the core it's actually really comfortable it, it's extremely light because it's made out of it's not made out of uh, pure plastic it has plastic but it's mostly made out of I think aluminum or something like that so it's very light they are still oval um but I think I should be able to, I haven't tried them for a recording session yet, but I think they should be comfortable enough for me to at least record an hour or so every now and then. If you need a headset that's comfortable, um, that is good, get the one that says cloud. Don't get the one that's co that says core because the one that says core, it just comes with the headset. And um, I don't know if there's any improvement in quality or anything, but um, it... It's that one is sixty nine ninety nine if I remember correctly, uh, and this one is only seventy nine ninety nine, so it's only ten dollars more. Let me show you guys the headset. But when I returned those games or when I sold back those games, I got back. I kid you not. So that's why I'm saying this. It go look if you need to buy something, look through your games, your games, and. I know I, I, I have sentimental value with a lot of games, even though I don't play them anymore. I've played them in the past, but I'm like, no, I love those games. Where I'm like, I'm never going to play them again, but still, I still would never sell them or, or get rid of them. But if you have any games that you seriously, you're like, I've never even played this damn game. I don't even, I don't even know what the hell is about or anything like that. Then return them because you could get some good money. I got $75 from those games. And I was like, and these were old games some of them one of them was um i think it was called, it, there's a bunch of uh jrpg games and i've heard really good things about these games that's why i had originally got them but i'm not a big fan of jrpg i tried to get back into them but i'm like i can't do it you know i don't have the time for this because it's they're so big one of them the manual was like that freaking big inside the game i'm like so I returned a lot of those and I got a lot of money, but it all depends on the game that you're returning, depending on how much money you'll get. But I got $75, which pretty much paid for a really good headset that is going to serve me for a good while. It comes in this really nice box. Um, this one comes with the headset. I was told that they originally at, at GameStop, it's very, it's not very common for them to have this one. It's pretty, it's pretty, it's common for them to have the core, but not the, not the cloud alone, not just this one. So I was lucky enough to find it there so that I could use my money there. I haven't even taken this off yet, but it's, it's, it's pretty well protected and stuff. But look at, they're not clampy. They fit on your head it's still pretty sensitive for me but I think I could stand them way more than these I'm still waiting to get a little bit uh, better from this um, until I for for me to start to actually uh, record gameplay again um, that's why I'm doing videos like this change of pace I think it's a good thing kind of needed a little break from let's plays anyways i think you did you guys did too i haven't beat the trespasser and i want to so I, I will be going back soon so this comes with this and this normal cable this it's just like the core does the 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 headset and the microphone and you don't see a microphone here but this is what i thought was really really cool and it's it even it even has a cover for the microphone hole which is really uh awesome it's separate that sucks I thought it was going to be attached, but it's not. So you, you you could really lose this easily. But it comes with 
the microphone separately. So if you don't want to have a microphone there, um, you could, you don't have to do this. If you're like, I'm not going to use a microphone. I'm not going to be using the microphone very much unless I play uh, multiplayer or something like that. It comes with this, which is an, 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 an airplane adapter. I haven't been on a plane in years, so I don't, I was like, okay. This is what I wanted. The volume control. This, it doesn't come in, in the other one. It only comes in this one. It doesn't come in the core. So this is what I was like, oh, I needed this. But it comes separate. If you don't want it on your headset, that's totally fine. If you want to make the, um, the, the, cause, cause then it's going to be really long, the cable. It's going to probably be like the X12s. The X12s have a huge, huge freaking cable. So you connect it like that. And you've got yourself a volume control. If you want it, if you don't, that's fine. And it also has a mute right here and a button at the back. You could connect it to your, uh, to your phone to answer calls and hang up on the calls. It has this cable, which is for consoles. Um, when you want to, uh, use the, the microphone and all that for multiplayer and stuff, you connect this to your controller. It is for the Xbox one and for the, um, for the, for the, uh, for the PS4. So you can use it for both. It comes with these ear pads, which are, is that like fake leather, but it also gives you the option of having these, they're like, um, they feel like, uh, they feel like velvet or something, but it's that furry soft material i'm not i'm not sure which ones are going to be more comfortable i'm almost thinking that the leather because the leather is much more squishy and these are a little more firm but they're very soft so they, they probably um enhance sweating as well because they're kind of furry i don't tend to sweat a lot though so i'm going to try both to see which ones are more comfortable and down here it has a little a little drawer and in here is an extension cable. If you need the wire even longer, um, you could connect them all together, I think. Uh, and I also, which I always love because I like to store my things so that they don't get dusty, a bag. It's like a nylon or no, it's like a jersey type of material. And it's got a little bag in the, in the front to put uh, any accessories and stuff with velcro so yeah i paid like five dollars for this <laughs> because of all those old games that i never played with anymore they came in handy they got me a new headset that i really really needed i haven't uh put this to the test yet but i think it should be uh it should be able to work well the other thing that i forgot to say is that the wire is that type of wire that's like was it nylon braided I think they call, I keep on wanting to call everything nylon, <laughs> but it's a braided, um, cable, uh, which is a lot better because they don't tend to, uh, they don't tend to get tangled up and like all twisted and stuff like my turtle beaches, especially with such a long freaking cable. Um, these are, these last a lot longer, this type of wire. The name suits it. It's it, with the, it call it being called the cloud. It's it's uh, it feels very light and it also feels very light on your head it doesn't clamp it's just you know it feels it feels like they're not going to fall off but they're not pressuring down on your freaking head either that's how all of that was connected my let's play the headset and my jaw <laughs> the doctor said it could sometimes take up to 8 weeks to get better and I'm like but I'm doing everything I can uh to to get better i'm not eating any solid food at least for a week uh so it's been pretty boring but i have been noticing a difference and i've been using a damp warm towel so if any of you have issues i know a lot of gamers have issues with their necks um and stuff like that so or just people that work on a computer for long periods damp warm towel helps so much um which you have have two towels i'm gonna show you guys now it's a do it yourself gamers with neck problems <laughs> fold the top oh, dude should i just show you guys how to do it <laughs> i actually had it all here so i was like why not show them so really quick you get one of these ziploc type of bags um you fold the top because it's like this right and you do this just for safety you fold the top like this just so that it doesn't close on you because of the humidity and the heat and all that you get two towels 
one of them you wet it wet it rinse it you know get all the water off but make sure it's wet because if it's not wet it could burn (laughs) so it has to be wet like damp um put it in here Put it in the microwave for at least a minute. I sometimes put it for a minute and 15 seconds. It's going to come out pretty hot, so be careful. The other towel is the one that you're going to wrap it in. So you you just put this one on the other towel. Again, be careful because it's going to be hot. So try for a minute. I think with a minute, it's still going to be hot, but it should be okay. You wrap it in this one. Like that. And again... Um, I can't stress enough, stress this enough, but be careful because sometimes it's too hot. So just be tr- testing it until it finally gets enough where you could stand it. Put it like this. I've been putting it like this for a while so that I could get my jaw as well as my neck. Because my area is just all of this. But do this until it's not warm anymore until it's not hot anymore and just do it a few times a day and oh my god it helps so much i swear i've been getting so much better because of this so um if you have issues with your neck because of gaming or because of long periods on the computer this helps wonders and it feels really good too because it's like the heat and it's kind of damp and then when you take it off it just oh you feel so relaxed because it the heat and the the humidity the of the towel the wet the wetness of it um it just relaxes your muscle that's all tense so um if you have issues with your jaw as well like i do put it around your your jaw for a a while and if you want to be working for a while while you have this on that's what i do i i put it like this and then I get the one of the like you could use a rubber band even, but I what the the little elastic thingies that I get the little nylon thing, <laughs> the little elastic thing thingies that that I hold my hair up with, anything like that. Like I said, like a even a rubber band, just put it around here to hold it in in place, and boom. It also helps for the shoulders. I was having a lot of pain in my shoulders this morning. So I just put it like this for a while. And it, it actually helped. So yeah, there you go. Do it yourself. <laughs> I mean, we're all gamers, right? We gotta help each other. So this was pretty much a... Me giving you guys advice. <laughs> when, you got, when you having pain. When you having problems. <laughs> since I'm kind of limited at what I could do right now I want to put my um, time and effort into something that could help you guys um, if you got if you didn't know if you hadn't thought about it uh, or if you're looking for a new headset and you want something um, comfortable or whatever or if you're having issues like I am because I know it's pretty common someone um someone that I that 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 one of my subscribers was like oh my god I was having I had tendonitis just in my in my jaw and neck just like three days ago so I was like damn I know it's pretty common um the doctor was like it just happens you know it's and with uh people living such stressful lives now um it's it's pretty common so I'm gonna keep trying to stop biting my nails (laughs) Uh, cause I really have to stop cause that does make it worse. If you guys have any other recommendations, what works for you, where you're like, oh, you know what, this is really comfortable or this is what you should do, whatever. Um, let me know in the comments down below. It would help me and also everyone else that's reading. That's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.